I'm Dr. Jeff Finneker, and today we're going to explore the science of food web. With Dr. Jeff. Plants use the sun's energy to create food, which is then eaten by this caterpillar, giving energy to the caterpillar, which is then eaten by a bird that is then in turn eaten by a snake, which is eaten by this eagle. What you just described is a food chain. That's a sequence of living things in which each one feeds on the one below it. The flow of energy in a food chain always starts from the sun. Without the sun, there would be no plants. I thought this lesson was about food webs. We're getting there. A food web is made of many intersecting food chains since most animals don't just eat one thing. All living things in an ecosystem are linked together in the food web. We can use a food web diagram like this one to study how energy and matter flow in an ecosystem. Well, that got complex pretty fast. Can be a little bit overwhelming. Let's look at some animal examples and where they fit on the food web. I think that means it's time for a... Field trip! Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades 3 to 5, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher. <laughs>